What's up guys, it's Greeny. Just made it to Krabby. So about a four hour journey from my hotel to the airport to Krabby and now I'm in Aonang, which is a very scenic area in Krabby. And uh, give you a quick little view of the beach here. Came straight down to the beach to check out this view, so check it out. So this is the Aonang Beach. It's uh, there's Rayleigh Beach on the other side of this cliff. I'm gonna check that out. It looks like that'll be good. I think I'll have to take one of these uh, one of these long tail boats over there. Um, there's no roads going to that. But uh, uh, we drove through Krabby Town. If you want beach or beautiful, don't go to Krabby Town. Uh, come here or Rayleigh Beach. Um, you just see all the different islands and things out there. Yeah, it looked like nothing, uh, nothing but like city in uh, Krabby Town. I was a little confused, but uh, people suggested that this is where I come and this is where I am. So, I'll give you guys a little tour of the, uh, of the town here. So, right when you get off uh, Owl Beach, uh, there's all kinds of little shops and restaurants, uh, little bars. A lot of Indian restaurants, I've noticed. Um, actually, what I was surprised about is uh, plenty of, uh, of tours. If you don't book your tour ahead of time, just come here and you can uh, usually negotiate a pretty good tour. Um, so let's see, so PP Islands, Island, Rayleigh oh, Beach, that's where I'm gonna check that out. So I'll make a, probably a separate video of that. And, uh, but anyways, like I was saying, I was surprised that right over here, so close to the beach, they have smoothies, uh, all different flavor smoothies, and it was only 40 baht, which is super cheap, especially being this close to the beach. Uh, yeah, see all these different fruits and uh, prices. Uh, all shake, smoothie, or cheese. So they have your choice of the different things. I'm gonna grab something to eat and I'll pick up this little tour shortly. So I really don't want Thai food, so as I'm walking down here, I see crazy gringos. And uh, I don't know where it is. There's this little walking street. Maybe it's in here. Crazy gringos? Taku cup. Okay, so maybe it's not even open. <laughs> not open. We have temporarily moved to Beach Road, only 250 meters from here. All right, so I'm gonna go to Beach Road and look for crazy gringos. Okay, so I guess we're gonna take a walk down Beach Road here because it uh, looks like there's all kinds of stuff here and uh, I'm looking for this crazy gringos, but it may be like three football fields down. So I'll, if I see something better on the way, I'll stop there. What I did notice about uh, this area is, and I'm back to Touristville, USA, of course, so all the vendors, uh, people are asking me to, if I want a suit, want a massage, all that type of stuff. Like, you know, they're not super aggressive, but they, they, uh, they make their point. But, uh, not really interested in that. Hopefully I'll never wear a suit again. So Watson's, McDonald's, normal Thai stuff. Taylor, a lot of Taylor shots here. Uh, Quicksilver. I keep seeing pizza places, but then it says there are Indian food and Thai food. I mean, just if I see a good Italian, maybe I'll get that, but. So 
uh, Mama's Kitchen 809 Cuisine. Let's take a look at the menu. I always gauge the prices on. I just look to see how much. Let's see. I usually just look to see how much Morning Glory is. And if it's about 80 baht, I know that it's a reasonable price restaurant. Uh, Fried Morning Glory, which was 120 baht. So that place is way too overpriced. I saw a bar earlier that said live music and uh, looked like almost like a country bar. I think I forgot the name. Roadhouse Long Long Longhorn. So maybe I'll check out some music later. There's another Italian place. Nobody's in there. Pass. It is right now about 3 p.m. So it's uh, I'm right in the prime of happy hour. Oh, and hey, fight night. So I'm gonna have to listen to these uh, trucks drive around with the Thai boxing again. It's a pretty common uh, theme in Thailand and all the tourist cities. Beach Resort. Another Burger King. Oh, looks like a Ladyboy show here. Yeah. Now more Muay Thai fighting. Yeah. Let's see. Center Point. I wonder how much these guys get paid to just stand out in front of the place and try to get people to come in. Maybe they get paid per customer. 10 baht per customer. Possible. I'm starting to get too hot. It's uh, 95 degrees out right now. So I'm fading fast. Gotta find a place. Pick this up shortly. All right, so uh, my crazy gringo is taking up temporary housing in this place. I finally found it. I ordered nachos, uh, $10 for the nachos, chicken nachos. Um, I wanted salsa. They wanted me to charge me two more dollars for salsa. Tortilla chips, nachos, no salsa. You have to pay extra for that, so. I said forget it, just slapped on the Tabasco, and uh, they were okay, not the greatest, so I wouldn't recommend that place. Maybe it's expensive to make uh, salsa in Thailand, I don't know, tomatoes, uh, I, uh, so. So, pretty cool statue here of a marlin, it looks like. Swordfish, marlin, I don't know. Is there a difference? Check it out. Pretty cool. Looks like they have little sun towels here. Like the bop bus, not sure how much those cost. Beautiful, amazing view though of the water here. Looks like it should be a nice sunset too. Maybe I'll shoot back down to the beach for sunset. Oh, mic up. Mic up. So this is like the main drag through the middle of town here. It'll take me back to my hotel. Should I rent a motorbike? Try it out? Or is it too crowded here? Too much traffic maybe for me? I don't even know how to drive a motorbike. 
I'm going to Kosamui next, back to Kosamui. I was already there. I'm here for three days. I want to climb up there. Pizza Company. This is, must be the number one pizza place in Thailand. They have them everywhere. And uh, I haven't tried the pizza. I did have a salad there. It was a good salad. I can say it was... Uh, very good salad, the best salad I've had since I've been here. I think it might be the only salad I've had, but it was good. Like I said, road thai. I got a bunch of, oh, look at chicken and sausage. Oh, a little pad thai stand. Different kinds of uh, pastas. I'm done with that shit though. I'm not eating little curbside stands like that anymore. I've learned my lesson. Love the bags here though. They got the coolest bags in Thailand that they sell. Pretty inexpensive. All right, well that's my little tour of uh, Ao Nang, Thailand, and the Krabi province, I guess. It's a province. So wrap it up. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and follow hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos i got a shit ton of videos that i've made i'm very behind on putting them out i've been in many uh places with bad wi-fi i gotta have fast wi-fi or it takes too long so this is it signing off from Nang.